Yes, dude, there it is. Oh. Yes. Nope, got off. Oh my God, you fucked us so hard. Yes, thank you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> bye, Steve. Oh, is that you? Yes, yes. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking crazy right now? All right, we're pulling out the boats. About to go fishing. Taking a break from the boat build. I'm gonna go enjoy some boats. Here is Nate's boat here. Gonna be taking that out. This lake is freaking beautiful. I don't know why people trust me with their boats, but they do. Good thing I know how to drive a boat, right? We are dropping the boats in the water and we're going fishing, baby. Ah, oh, it feels good to be out here on the water. How deep is this thing? I don't know this lake at all. Like a glove. That's why people trust me with their boats. <laughs> Let's see what a glide bait does. Nope, you get the front. Huh? Oh yeah, and you're gonna make me drive. Yep. It's all you, my man. There's one. Yeah? Yep. About freaking time, man. There you go. Hey, don't jump, don't jump. My drag is way too loose here. <laughs> that's alright. About time. Oh, that's a nice, that's, that's a decent nice one. I'll take that one for my first ever Tennessee vest. Oh, yeah. boy. Good job. On the worm. Yep. When everything else fails, the Texas rigged worm. All right, boys, there it is. My first ever Tennessee bass. First ever Tennessee fish. <laughs> what a freaking beauty, man. Ah, thank you, buddy. Feels good. Feels real good. I'll give you a nice release because you were nice to me and played with me. See you, buddy. First one down. Got the skunk off the boat. Dude, you are quite the guide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the seven inch Mondo worm. Let's catch some more. Money, that's money. Right where that thing blew yep. up. <laughs> Don't jump, no, stay down. Yeah, buddy, number two. There's no chance he's getting off. Maybe, a little guy. Still count, still fun. Feisty. All right, guys, there is number two for Tennessee. Nice little bass. Oh, thank you, buddy. Water feels great. 
Not bad. Fish per two hours. I'll take that any day. <laughs> it's pretty tough out here today, but we're getting them. We're getting it done. Hell yeah, bud. Dude, it felt like it was a 10 pounder because it had so much grass. I don't know how big it was. <laughs> Last frog fish of the day. Ah, froggy frog. <clears throat> All right. Hold her up. Beautiful. Make these little bass. Not bad. I mean, for today, shit, I'll take. Yep. Yeah, that hook set looked huge. <laughs> I was like, yeah, damn. <laughs> Well, I mean, I probably had 30 pounds of weeds on over there. <laughs> but dude, every, like, every single one of those fish on the frog has been, like, letting it sit for, like, 5, 6, 10 seconds, yeah. 15 seconds. Mm. That's when they bite. Head sticking. Y'all get anything else? Just two. One that oh, yeah, size one. and a half pounder. Don't pound feel there. bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, <clears throat> tough. We got a guide service here who knows the lake, knows the water, so this is going to be awesome. I've never caught a fish on a frog before, so maybe today's the day. This is Adam, Billy. That's John. Adam and John. So my local lake has no grass, so I've never thrown a frog. I've thrown one, but never caught anything, so. Where are you from? Texas. So you want us to throw some frogs, huh? Yeah, we'll do I'm down. One blows it up, you know. If you feel the pressure, you pull on them. If you don't, it's just just start. I will just start whining, okay. and I'll kind of lean to them. If I feel the pressure go down, though, I'm gonna come up with it. So once you feel the pressure, is when you You've set. You've got to feel the pressure. Yes. Want to set this? me up with one? Right. Fifty. Good. Is it all right if I go ahead and tighten this? Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. Tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want. I don't. I, I don't care about it slipping some. I don't want it to. This like slip completely out. Okay. So I'm gonna put a lot of heat on it. Okay. So you're saying that's not a big frog? <laughs> no. This, well, this is the biggest one they make. It's a 90. It's a whole new world for me. This is awesome. Good enough. All right. So how you how would you work this one? Just like, like that one, or I'll actually I'll actually get wanna... right here and I'll, I'll throw one and I'll show you. Okay. Perfect. First thing I'm gonna do is just let it sit for just a second, and then then I'm just I'm just gonna kind of see see how I make its it. nose jump. Watch. Yeah. It like a frog. Yeah. Dunk, dunk, dunk. And what that's doing is that's slapping that's slapping its nose on the mat because what these fish are eating in here, majority of what they're eating in here, is a uh, bluegill, and, and uh, of course there's some big crawfish in here too, but. I mean, you don't have to put through a, a lot of effort. You know, a lot of people really overstress the 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 action of them. Uh -huh. As long as I can, as long as I keep it bouncing like that, I'm fine. And what what I'll be doing is I'll be just casting. I'm just going to cast and reel. What I'm doing is just trying to locate fish for you. Okay. So I'm going to reel pretty fast too. So oh, if so one blows it up, you know, I'll say. Okay, hurry, I'll, it'll nice. be there, so you can where you throw are. in there. Yeah. Okay. In the 10th month, and I've only seen two like that this year. Oh, Dude. is that you? Yes, yes. yes. Just, just stick to him. Just stick to him, bro. Pressure, just pressure, okay? I got pressure. I, I'm gonna go to him, okay? Yep. Keep him pressure. Let me go around the trauma motor here. Yep, just keep him pressure. Wine with me. Keep it tight. 
Oh, that's <laughs> so cool. God, dude, what? And the thick stuff. Oh, no. What a heartbreak. What your fault, dude? Dude, this where that frog up. <laughs> this one man. Dang it. That was not a small fish. No, it was a big one, yeah. Man, that's heartbreaking. That's, that's awesome, dude. Was it pressure instantly? Yeah. Like, I'm just trying oh, to yeah. understand. Pretty yeah. much, he, he grabbed it and held it. Yeah, dude, this frog right here, this frog right here is different. So you just, I mean, we're at the mercy of them, really. We just hope the frog is deep enough in their mouth to where it gets in the tissue behind it instead of like out. Maybe that one maybe would have been... Might have been a lip. Right, like out toward the front. Would you ever throw a frog not on grass? Absolutely. Like just open what you would? Oh, okay. yeah. I want to try it more. Yeah, a popping frog. A popping frog is a badass frog. Okay. We, we throw popping frogs a lot around trees, around bushes, submerged grass, you know, just Okay. So is it better to go to them? Or do you have a higher catch rate going to them versus reeling them in? Well, you won't be able to get that one out of there. Okay. How is his speed coming back? Is this too fast, too slow? No, it's... Uh, is that I'm, good? I'm, if I'm going to do it like that, see, I'm going to, I'm going to try to... Um, Incorporate a lot of some more, bouncing more bouncing, frog, but huh? not a lot of scooting. You know, so I, I'm I'm really wanting it to like bounce continuously. Okay. These bluegill, they'll be up in the mat. They'll be eating above. Oh yeah, the looking bass up. Will come up and he'll go poke. He'll just poke him. So it's either gotta come back to him or out on the mat. Go. Okay. So you want us to. Just keep pressure. You don't want us to reel in. No, if you can get them to come, get them okay. to come. Okay. If they, especially if they get up on the mat, if yep. they get up on the mat, just keep winding them. Drag as them in. As long as they stay up, we're, we're in the clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if they go back down again, that's that's just they just get all that grass yeah, watered up on. The upper hand. Yeah. Once they get that grass watered up on them and they're big like that, they're able to waller the hooks out of their mouth. Okay. With me cranking it like this, all I'm trying to do is get one to be aggressive. Yeah. Hey, right. Oh, right here. See it? Right here. Yep. You see where it was? Yep. Go for, yeah, go for it. Go for it. If, you're, if you can, go for it. Okay. You go to the right, right here. To the right of here. Right in front of me. There you go. There you go. Yep. Mark it. Dump, 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 dump. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I throw a lot of sprays. Oh, got hit. Oh man, it tapped it. You got bit? Yep. Just tapped it though. Just checking it out. Alright guys, so I worked this frog for four freaking hours straight with no breaks and did not get a single bite. A fish hit it. It poked at it, but that was it. Man, that was brutal. But hey, I learned a lot about frogs, so that is awesome. Thank you, Billy, for that. I'm gonna go home a frog expert. I know how to use it, I know how to work it. I just gotta find the right spots to use them and I will be set. Ooh. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> There's gotta be something in there. I oh, know. You can get underneath that main in the back. Oh, you got one. You got one. I, see, I, didn't, I felt no pressure. Oh. I was waiting for the pressure. Right? Yeah, no, he definitely hit it. I was waiting for the pressure to... It never freaking... Dang it. It was just sitting there, too. I was messing with the brakes. Dude, they might just want to sit in there. 
Well, I got, I'm just doing the ultimate sitting test right now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the guy said wait for pressure and I just never fell with it. I, I saw it hit it. That was my first ever frog hit. That was awesome. I got mine just sitting up there while I'm fucking with it. Yeah, that's, that's the move. We'll, uh, we'll see. Just stop here. Can you stop? Is there a spot lock on that thing? Oh, yes, dude. There it is. Hell yeah. It, it's, it's, it feels huge, but it's also in grass. It's not that big. Is that on? I can't tell if it's on. I think I missed it. No! Dude, he's still there. Holy crap, dude, this is amazing. Two hits back to back on a frog. I've never caught a fish on a frog before. Come on, baby. Take it. You know you want it. Dude, we may have found the jackpot, boys. That's, that's your fish, Adam. No, throw in there too. I want, I'm a team player, dude. If we get fish on the boat, we're all good. <laughs> Two bites back to back. Come on. Dude, it feels good when they hit it, though. Holy crap. Yep. Yeah, that's, that, that, it gets your fucking adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. That's what had me the other day. It was awesome. The grass is like a blessing and a curse, though. It's hard to get them out, too. It's like, He said once you once you hear the pop, you wait till you feel pressure. tension. Yeah, it's feel pressure. Then that's when you set the hook. Like I saw it blow up, but I never felt yeah, it I, pull. I saw it blow too. It blew up big. It just never felt a fish take it. Oh, oh there you go. Yes. Got right? Nope, got off. Oh my god, you frogged her so hard. I set the hook so hard. She's in there, dude. There's a few in there. We gotta figure out this frog hook set. <laughs> we got more bites in 10 minutes than in four hours. <laughs> well, I needed a technique, I guess. Yep. Feels great. Let's get one, all one more cast in here and we'll bounce. We'll keep going. Oh, you got him? Nope, you got off. Go. You're kidding. Where's your lure at? Right, right. Oh, get back in there. Oh, I'll throw my worm in there. Got it. Got him. Yep. This ain't good because my line is not made for this grass. You're gonna have to ski him up over this grass. Come up, bud. Come up, bud. Bring him to me. I'll grab him. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> You're supposed to keep him up. I couldn't get him up. Can you go over there, with any? Oh, please do not come off. I got him. We got him. We're going to him. Oh, it's tugging. They wanted the worm. Yeah, he's still there. We're in this thick, nasty grass. So we gotta get to him. Oh boy. Don't grab the line. Try to. Can you turn the trail motor to it? Here, bring them, pull them I, out I this way. can't do much. There. Oh, come on, bud. Come on, bud. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Thank you, buddy. That's a nice little bass, dude. That's a chunk. Yeah, I didn't have to think of it, but. Woo! All right, boys, there she is. So, 
That, oh, that one to John. He was throwing his frog. He got hit through my worm right where it was. And uh, we got this nice little bass. <sighs> so beautiful. So freaking beautiful. Two and a half? I'll wait Three? just to see. I mean, it's a chunk. It's not small. It's got some girth. All right, 2.97 pounds for the Tennessee bass. I'll take it. So yep, almost a three pounder. Yes, thank you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> feisty, feisty, feisty. Man, the grass sucks, actually. It's, it just sucks. <laughs> it makes it so much harder. But that's where they hide, I guess, so. Tell him he might want to call his employee and tell him. Can you guys, can you get a hold of Chris? Yeah. Okay. Oh. No way. Fish on. <laughs> Small one. Right. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, yeah. Boat. Boat flip. Dude, that's a freaking monster. Tennessee, baby. Tennessee bass. <laughs> Chill out, bud. Should we weigh her? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's at least a three-quarter pounder. All right. I'll tell your mama I caught you. Look what it did to my worm. I think it's done for. Look at this airplane landing on the water. That's so freaking cool. No, don't tease us like that. Land. It's gonna go behind the island. That's that's sick. All right, guys, so that is it for our fishing adventure here in Tennessee. I had an awesome time. The fishing here was freaking tough, though, man. But I still managed to pull a few bass into the boat. That is awesome. But I didn't manage to catch a bass on the frog. I worked that frog for four hours one day, and then I got three bites back to back, and I just could not do it. So I'm going to set a go for myself. In the next month, I have to catch a bass on a frog. But, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.